is on to replace Republican Tom Petri, who is calling it quits after more than 30 years in Congress. A fierce primary battle is underway. Charles Benson caught up with the candidates for a debate in Fond du Lac. If the candidates were looking to pick up votes, they came to the right place tonight. When asked, a majority of the people here said they were undecided. All three are Republicans, but the battle for the most fiscal conservative began when State Senator Glenn Grothman called for a balanced budget amendment in Congress. Restricting the total amount that could be spent, it would force Congress not to spend money on these superfluous things. State Representative Dewey Strobel jumped on that, claiming Senate Republicans recently failed to act on that issue. I think that was a mistake because the Assembly voted for it and the Senate didn't. And these guys are in leadership here. But State Senator Joe Leibum says Republicans have balanced budgets under Governor Walker. Well, to suggest that I've been a big spender during my time in the legislature is laughable, and I'd suggest that you look at the record. On immigration, all three agree on securing the border and what to do with children smuggled in from Central America. Even the children should be humanely returned home to their families. They should not be allowed to be entering this country and staying in this nation. There's no disagreement on what to do with education at the federal level. I would be in favor of repealing the Department of Education. Um, I'm a state's rights person, and I believe that we can handle education in this state. And all oppose legalizing marijuana. There's no question. The underclass will be hurt by legalization of drugs, and therefore I do not believe that the federal government ought to be opening the door. The next debate is in Plymouth Wednesday night, the election two weeks away. In Fond du Lac, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. And the winner of the Republican primary will face Democratic Winnebago County Executive Mark Harris in November.